All right, let's look at how to perform a binary search. And we're gonna use an array to do this. So it's just a base, basic flat array. Uh, I'm gonna do a string array because that's a little bit more difficult than using integers. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to create an array. So, and in order to do this, you have to have an assorted array. It has to be an ordered, ordered array. Otherwise you can't really do a binary search. And the idea with binary is each time you search, you split the array in half. All right, so my array is going to be a set of strings. So let's go ahead and do apple, banana. Let's get a little more creative and cheese. That's not very really creative, but maybe a donut. I'll spell the way I want to. Um, let's do an eggplant. Um, fish. Okay, grape, hummus, oops, gotta make sure you put quotes where they belong, and then let's do, let's do ice, which is not really a food, but, and then jello, which isn't really a food either, but that's okay, and then kimchi, and a lemon and I will take this piece right here and now I have an array all right now I want to keep track of the number of elements in the array and so I'm going to use an integer count and I'm going to assign this to 12 because there are 12 elements in there from 0 to 11 all right now I want to be able to search it and so I have a, a search that's going to return the index of where it finds something. So let's pass in my array, which is an array of type string. And I'm going to pass in my count. And I'm going to pass in the word I'm searching for. So my word. All right. I'm going to take this and copy this down to the bottom and write my function down here. Ideally, you put that top piece in a header and this piece in some other code later. All right, before I write it, I want to decide what I want the output to look like. So let's have a output right here, see out, and say the location of of apple is and we'll do my search for my array uh, count and apple and then my end no all right so that could be good let's do a couple more words just so we can see so we'll pick something else let's do a donut and that would be donut. We should pick, uh, let's do kimchi. And, and we want to do a lemon because you, it's always good to check the ends to make sure that everything is working correctly. All right. So we got these pieces. I got the ends, apple, and lemon. And I got a couple in the middle. And then I want to have one that's going to fail. So I can do a paste. This one is going to be um, spaghetti. All right, so spaghetti is going to fail and it should return something. All right. Now, what do I want it to return? Well, I want it to return the index of something. And if I don't have the correct index, I want it to, let's have it return negative one. So the int index, and I'm gonna initialize it with negative one. So if I can't find it, it'll return negative one. I want to have, I'm gonna be looking at the array in pieces. So the first time I look at it, I'm gonna look at from zero to 11 
index 0 to 11, and I want to look at the middle of that. And then if it's before that, I want to throw everything after it. And if it's after that, I want to throw everything before it away. So I'm going to have a min and a max. So where I'm looking at the min and max, so min, that's going to be equal to 0. And uh, int max is going to be equal to my count minus 1. Because if count's 12, that means the highest index is going to be 11. All right. Next, I am going to decide which index I'm actually looking at. So let's do int um, look at. It's kind of a weird name, but that's okay. We're going to do look at. All right. Now I'm going to have a little while loop to loop over everything and look at things. So I'll do while. And while my min is less than or equal to my max, then I'm kind of still looking. So what do I do? Well, first of all, I need to assign my look at value. So look at is going to be equal to the middle between my min and my max. And the way I can do that is by taking my min plus my max divided by 2. Because this is an integer, it will give me an integer result. So if I add 0 plus 11, it's going to give me 11. Divided by 2 is going to give me half that, which is actually 5. It's not 5 and a half. It's 5 because it rounds down. So that would be 5. All right. Next, I want to figure out what happens. Well, if I compare the word, so that word that comes in as a string, I can use the compare method and it gets some kind of a value. So what value is it? So if I pass in the array at index look at, which would be five uh, for the first one, look at, then it's either going to be a negative, positive, or a zero value. So that's what compare returns. So if it is negative, that means that everything, well, that portion of the word, well, that word um, is basically saying that the word comes um, before that. Does that make sense? So if it's less than zero, that means that word comes before whatever is in the array at the lookout location. All right. So we can ignore everything from our lookout location to the end of the array. Because this one is before that. So how do we do that? Well, we assign our max a new value. So max becomes equal to our look at location. Except we know it isn't that one, so we can do minus 1. All right. Else, if my word compare is... I'm going to compare it to the array again at the look at location. If it is greater than zero, what does that mean? Well, that means that everything before the look at location and look at location are not going to be looked at. So I can ignore everything from look I guess from the beginning to look at. All right. So I do that by changing min's value. And min equals look at. But it isn't look at. So it would be look at plus one. And if it's not less than zero and it's not greater than zero, it must be zero. So I can do an else. And what is 
zero mean? Well, zero means that I have found the correct one, right? Because it's when I compare it, it's not less than, not greater than, it's the exact same word. So I can set my index to my look at location. And in order to get out of my while loop, I want to make it so the minimum is greater than the maximum. So it will not loop over forever. So I'll do min equals max plus one. It's just my way of breaking out of the loop. At this point, I can return my index. All right. So this should be able to go through and search for things and it should return values. So let's go ahead and give this a run and see what happens. So it says location of apple is zero, donuts three, kimchi is 10, lemon is 11, and spaghetti is negative one. So let's go back and look at these things. So apple is at zero, that's correct. Donuts three, kimchi is 10, lemon is 11, and spaghetti is not on the list, and so it shows up as negative one. So basically what it's doing is it's looking through that, that list and every time it's moving the minimum and the maximum for where it's searching and zeroing in on that. It's every time it's splitting it in half. And so it can go through it very quickly, very quickly search through it. It doesn't have to look at every single number. It doesn't have to look at every single location and it can find the correct word and it can then return that index. And that is how a binary search works.